From beginning to end, it's a compelling read. It's also captured in colorful pictures. There's a demonstration of love within a family. There's a demonstration of colleagues and acquaintances that have been made through the journey. The fascination of this book, trust me, is that don't read it in between your Facebook updates. <laughs> don't read it in between trying to shell up people in your DMs. Sit back and in one read, you'll be done. But you'll feel whole about it. I, I don't talk up things that I don't believe in. So that is why I believed in this man in as much as when the establishment was saying, but can't you find other voices to come and talk about rugby on a Tuesday? I said, but what are, what's wrong with this voice? They found something that was wrong and they wanted to shake it up. I said, no, no, no. You remove him, you remove me, and let's life carry on. <laughs> life is very simple. You make the decisions. And I always say, You'd rather starve in dignity than eat in shame. I mean, the choices you gotta make yourself. And these two gentlemen here will be outside uh, taking the, I mean, it's what, 275 each copy of this. Wonderfully written illustration of life. A book is one thing. It's what you get in a library when you're rebelling with the teacher that you don't learn about photosynthesis. This is a journey about life. And they will give you time to sign individually, give you that signature, give you that thank you in the book because you are part of this history. And maybe just by a clap of hands, if you've gained more than what you expected by being here tonight, just show me that.